Hi, everybody. Or I should say, hi, everybody. Okay. So I got this new. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope everybody's having a good day. Um, sorry, I had a message come in. Um, so why I'm wearing bunny ears and the cat ears when I wear them, it's because we are bunny certified, which means that we are animal cruelty free products. So I found these bunny ones, <laughs> I love them, that were on, um, actually I found them on Amazon. I don't even know what company it was. And I just had to get them because they're pink bunny ears. They're so cute. So anyways, I just had to do that. So today is Face Mask Friday. So we're gonna wait just a couple minutes and see if anybody else comes on. And then I'll get started. So how was everybody's week? Did everybody have a good week? If you're here, say hi down below. Comment, comment, comment. Like my post. You know, let me know you're here. Okay? So anyways, so I was really sad I did not get my packages today, my happy mail today that I thought I was going to get. So I just get so excited and I actually get a little impatient. So patience is not my thing. I want everything now, like everybody else. But I am working on some stuff, so I almost forgot about my live stream, oh my gosh. So I um, remembered like a half an hour ago, I had my desk was full of products and bags because I'm making gift bags for the upcoming heart day, you know. Some people celebrate Valentine's Day. Some people celebrate it just being another day. Some people give gifts to friends and family, and some people give gifts to their loved ones. And I thought to myself, self, why not make up some bags with these beautiful products and that are good for the earth and good for people and make up some gift bags? So you guys will be seeing those shortly. There's only a certain... Uh, a limited amount uh, supply of them so when I post them you're gonna have to be first come first serve okay so when I post them you'll get all the deets on that anyway so I'm gonna get started I haven't washed my face yet so I'm gonna use my aloe cream cleanser now you can use this two ways you can use it with water or without I'm gonna opt to use it without water tonight because I only brought one bowl of water in with me to my desk now this is the aloe cream cleanser the aloe that's in it is community fair trade from Campeche Mexico I don't know if I'm saying it right I'm sorry if I'm messing it up but it's hand filleted aloe so it's hand cut hand filleted and then it's sent to um, the processing within five hours of it being processed I mean being cut so it's really really fresh good for the environment community fair trade means that they're getting a fair wage for their product okay and that we are trading with them to help better their communities like fresh drinking water um, schools hospitals medical care um, supporting their communities that kind of thing okay so now that I've put that on, I'm gonna use my cotton round. We do sell them, 100% cotton rounds. I love them. They're not those really, really thin ones. If you look, I wonder if you can see it. See how thick that is? They're really a thick one. And I like that they are because they you don't feel like you have to use two or three of them just to get the job done, okay? So I'm just wiping this off. This is one way to use it, or you could rinse it off with water. But I choose to use it this way because one, I didn't have any makeup on today. The only thing that I put on my face after washing it this morning is my vitamin C SPF. I went to deliver some products today and I actually forgot to grab. I was gonna shout out, but I'll do that shout out tomorrow and that way my friend gets a shout out because she made me something. And I wanted to show that guys to you guys tonight, but I will tomorrow when I do my live. And that way I can shout it out. 
All right, so look here. Can you guys see that? It took all that dirt from the day off my face. Okay. Now, since it's face mask Friday, I am going to put on a face mask. And while I, that face mask is working, I am going to show you some other face masks that we have in their jars. So we're gonna do the Himalayan charcoal purifying mask tonight. Now, it's a purifying glow mask actually. So what it does is it deep cleans um, your pores and it's got um, charcoal from bamboo. Okay, so it, hold on, I'm gonna get my brush. I'm also using my mask brush. And this is what it looks like, it's clay texture. Okay, so when this one goes on, it will dry. Um, and this is one of the ones that you um, actually need to take off after the um, 10 minutes. Is it 10 minutes? Make sure I'm doing this right. Yes, you can leave this on five to 10 minutes. 10 minutes max and then you need to, the best way to take it off is to re-wet it a little bit and then um, exfoliate a little bit, you know, like in circular motions. You'll see, I'm gonna show you. But it's got bits and pieces of the charcoal. I keep hitting that bowl again tonight. It's got bits and pieces of that charcoal. Hopefully I won't mess up my bunny ears. Let me pull them back just a little bit. I forgot I was doing a darker colored mask tonight, so I don't want to ruin my bunny ears. But if I do, they go in the wall, you know, I'll wash them. And then they may just be stained. And then it'll be stained bunny ears. But that's okay, because you know what? It's for masks. So I'm gonna make sure I get down my nose really good because my nose is where I usually have the blackheads. Um, in, in, in most of my dirt and grime since tends to sit on my face. So as this works, it's gonna dry. So you see the color of it now, it's actually gonna lighten as it dries. And it's gonna help, um, um, sorry, I'm focusing on what I'm doing. As you can see, you can see all that bam, uh, the bamboo charcoal in there. Look at all that, see? So it's not, finely ground it's actually bits and pieces of it in there so you're getting that whole product in there all right so I'm gonna go down my face here I'm trying to move quickly because I do have a fan on in here so it tends to help dry things a little quicker but we're gonna leave it on for the 10 minutes because I'm going to talk to you guys why it's working okay so Hope everyone is doing good to this, you know, and has, you know, some plans for this weekend. Maybe hanging out with the fam, doing stuff that you need to catch up on. Oh, with it on my nose, but not on my lips. But I am gonna go closer to my lips just to detox. And I'm gonna do right here on my chin a little more than I normally do. Just to make sure. Okay, so I got that. And as you see, it's already starting to dry in those lighter places that I put it on. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here on my nose. Okay, so you see it's starting to dry already. All right, so the Himalayan, it's a mud texture. Okay, that's one of our masks. It um, unclogs, it exfoliates, so it drop, uh, it, um, and it purifies. So it's got, um, it takes out your impurities, excess oil from the skin, leaving it feeling deeply cleansed and detoxified and unclogged, which is why I like it to use it around, especially my nose area. Um, it exfoliates, so because of the bits and pieces that are in it, you can also exfoliate, um, and it leaves you with a refined, healthy glow. Um, it purifies, so it's anyone looking to rebalance and purify their skin, whether they want to target a small area or detoxify the whole face. Okay, so when you want to, you could use these masks in tandem, meaning you could do part of your face, like your T-zone, your nose, and your forehead, if that's where you get all your breakouts or you get your clogged pores at, you would use it in that zone. And then like if you want to bring some more um, brightening and stuff to your face on your cheeks and stuff like that, you could use 
the um, Chinese ginseng and rice mask, which that one's for brightening. I love this mask. I'll show you that one. This is my sm the small version. Okay, love it. Love the smell of it. I love the smell of all of these, actually. Um, then if you want to wake me up type um, mask. So your ginseng is for glow and bringing um, radiance back to your face. Okay. And then you have your Nicaraguan coffee one. This one has cocoa in it. So it has, not cocoa, cacao in it, and it's got um, sugar, and it's got um, the Nicaraguan coffee. And this one is a perk you up. It helps stimulate the face. It helps with any um, inflammation. It helps your skin just be awake, you know, because, you know, we get tired, and we we are, um, I have more more info. I was trying not to to bore you with all the details. Um, then we have, let me see here. Let me see if I could give you a little more details than what I'm doing because I'm kind of all over the place because I'm running behind. So, but that's okay because you guys are still gonna like it, right? Okay, so let's go back to the ginseng for just, see I've got my cheat sheets right here. I don't know why I wasn't using them. All right, so the ginseng mask, let's tell you what's in that real quick so that way you guys get an idea of what's in that. It's got um, sesame seed oil from Nicaragua. It's got community fair trade beeswax. The sesame seed oil is also community fair trade. As you guys can see, this mask I'm wearing is actually starting to dry now, so we're gonna let it dry all the way. And then we have community fair trade alcohol from Brazil. It's got community fair trade um, Shea butter from Ghana. It's got moisturizing rice extract, ginseng root extract, which is revitalizing. Ginseng root is used a lot in Chinese medicine and teas and foods and everything. Ginseng is a really, really good, um, ginseng root is really, really good for the body. And then you have the pore cleansing salicylic acid, the exfoliating vegetable loofah. That's going to be in that Chinese um ginseng and rice mask that i said that, that is for brightening it helps brighten the skin okay and um give you that glowy uh complexion okay and then for the coffee one that one let me put this down hold on get myself out of order here so then the coffee one that I just talked about a little bit, it's energizing, exfoliating, and it's sensorial. So you've got the sense of, it's basically smells like a latte on your face. My kids and my husband think it smells like Tootsie Roll, but I like the smell of it as like a latte, you know. Um, let's see. It reduces the appearance of puffiness which is really good because you don't want inflammation in the face or anywhere on your body because it, it inhibits um, your healthy function of your skin and body. So um, coffee is known for its energizing properties while crushed coffee beans buff away dead skin cells. So this has crushed coffee beans in it. It's also got that community fair trade sesame seed oil in it from Nicaragua. It's also got shea butter and cocoa butter from Ghana. And then it's also got the community fair trade sugar from Paraguay. So it's like putting a whole latte on your face and using it as a scrub and a facial. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, I didn't show you guys that one. Look at this. It's almost as yummy as you could eat it. It smells wonderful. I love it. I've actually been really enjoying all these different face masks. I didn't know how much. I've actually becoming a face mask um person i didn't used to be so i love these products all right so next one is your plumping british rose fresh plumping mask look at this we've i've shown all of these on videos i love the smell of the rose it's beautiful um so this one is a replenishing so it's used to help replenish and plump the skin and um, give it more moisture. It also helps with glow 
and to help your skin look more bright, brighter and radiant. It's also got that sensuous um, rose smell to it and uh, scent to it that are from roses from um, the UK. And then you have, you know, from the England. And then you have the aloe vera that I talked about. That one is, um, that also has aloe vera in it, so it's very moisturizing. It's got alcohol from Brazil. It's got rosehip oil, which is antioxidant rich. And then it's also got real rose petals in that rose plumping mask. That is amazing too. Then we have the matcha, the Japanese matcha tea one. I love this one too. This one's anti-pollution. It's purifying and protective. Oh, it smells so good. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so this helps um, remove pollution, deeply cleanse the skin and protect it against pollution particles. So this mask that I have on right now is the Himalayan charcoal mask. I'm doing a deep clean on my face, so I'm still letting it dry. It's almost done and I'm gonna be taking it off shortly. But the matcha green tea one that we're talking about, that one has aloe vera, the community fair trade aloe vera from Mexico that's hand filleted. Then you have the olive oil, organic olive oil from Italy that's community fair trade. All of these are community fair trade. So then you have shea butter from Ghana. Then you have the matcha tea extract, which is antioxidant rich. And then dandelion root extract is anti-pollution. And then you have exfoliating apricot seed powder that's actually in here too. So this is really nice too. I, I haven't had a complaint yet about any of our masks for myself. I use them, um, I use one like every couple days or so. Um, depending on how intense it is. So like I'll use this intense one of the Himalayan charcoal today and I'll probably use a more um, like the rose one tomorrow or something else tomorrow on my face and not do a mask. It's like so I don't over exfoliate my face. Um, the next and the last one that I have in my collection so far, there's a couple more out there. Um, this one is the Hemp Overnight Nourishing Rescue Mask. Okay, so um, this one is, it's green, okay? And it definitely smells earthy. Um, it's not over earthy to me, but some people it will be. This is the one complaint I get a, that I've heard from this one is that it really smells earthy. So, um, I love it though. It's a really nice mask. It's a nourishing rescue mask. So it's made with hemp seed oil. <laughs> Gremlin a bath. That's okay, sweetheart. Well, I'm, I'm just still going over, um, the different masks that I have that I'm, cause tonight I'm doing the Himalayan charcoal mask, um, tonight to, to deep cleanse my face. Um, cause I had some blackheads starting, um, on my nose as usual. Um, but I'm, I'm on the last one of this and then I'm going to wash my, uh, rinse this off my face and then we're going to go on to the next products. Um, so this one is hydrating. So it, it helps the skin, um, have an intensely hydrated, comforted and relieved from tightness feel. Um, the mask helps lock in moisture overnight. So what, what they're talking about you're gonna slather this on like you would like I did here, and it's not gonna dry like this. What you're gonna do is leave it on for the five to 10 minutes, and then you're gonna wipe off any excess and leave that barrier of that mask on overnight, then do your wash and stuff in the morning. What that does is leaves that barrier on your face. So you're gonna leave some of it on your face, but you're not gonna leave it all gooped on your face because it's not gonna dry like this one. Yeah, that's it would work really, really well. It would work really well on those trouble areas. And if you don't need it on the rest of your face, you can use like one of your other masks on the rest of your face. 
And that way you only do that deep cleansing in that specific area unless you need a deep cleansing on your whole face, which I decided to do one on my whole face. This is almost ready to go. I got some that's still drying right there. But um, yeah, so you don't want to leave this on more than, I probably already left it on more than the 10 minutes just because I've been talking. But um, I'm going to go ahead and rinse it even though this is not completely dry right there. I'm just gonna do an exfoliation, make sure I didn't grab my other papers. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, I forgot to tell you what was in this hemp mask, I'm so sorry. This one has um, hemp seed oil, so this helps intensely nourish and balance the troubled skin. It's got the soothing community fair trade organic aloe vera also in it. So it's got those two ingredients, but it's really, um, anti-inflammatory it's it's really just a a well-rounded um, rescue mask for your face all right so let me pull my bowl over here because I'm gonna make a mess as usual now I have my um, facial flannel I use this every night to do my face as you see it's, it's hard right now, and you're thinking to yourself how you're gonna wipe your face with that. I'm actually gonna put it in the water. The reason it um, dries hard like that is because it dries quickly and it dries hard, so it does not harbor any bacteria and stuff like that. So what's really funny, I had a washcloth that I was using just to dry my hands um, because of my hand towels were in the wash, and I didn't think anything of it. I picked it up today because I used it yesterday. I picked it up, not thinking. I wiped my hands, went to wipe something on my face because I splashed water or whatever. And I was like, oh my God, we live in Florida. I forgot. Ugh, it smelled like ass. Sorry about that, but it's exactly what it smelled like. I, I, ugh. It was gross. It was gross. So I ended up washing my face again. I ended up washing my hands again, of course. So I'm just adding a little bit of warm water to this mask as I go. Okay, just trying to re-moisturize it so I can exfoliate. Oh goodness, it's getting harder to do over the bowl. But that's okay because I'm doing it for you guys so you guys can see what's going on. And once I have my bathroom set up for doing stuff in there, I'll start doing stuff in there. So I just have to move some things around. And I don't feel like doing it right now because I'm busy. I've been busy. So, okay. So now I'm going to use my fingertips and just gently exfoliate this around my face just like this exfoliating exfoliating and especially around my nose area try not to get it in my eyes okay and I'm just gently exfoliating my face light rubs and I'm adding more water when I find dry spots so it'll be easier to take off too. I love, love this mask. It's so refreshing. It's got eucalyptus oil in it too. So it's very um, refreshing. Um, I think it feels kind of tingly just because, I don't know, because it's refreshing. You know how when you put mint on things, it, it cools things, it, cooling, that's a good word. Nice and cooling. So I'm going to wipe this off as gently as I can. And you're probably thinking, oh, you're ruining it. No, I'm not. It rinses out. It rinses out takes a hot minute to rinse out, but it rinses out. Now there's a new product that we have that I can't wait to get. It's the Muslim uh, face cloth. So I, I can't wait to try that too. Try to get this off. 
from around my lips. So I got a little close. So sorry this is taking so long for me to get it off my face. It's one of the harder ones to get off for me, especially sitting at a bowl at my desk. Almost done. I know there's still some in the middle of my face. So how's everybody's Friday going? Going good, I hope. Has everybody else's mail been running like really slow? Because I sent out samples to, um, you know, when I did my samples last week, I sent them out on that Friday, last Friday. And some people still haven't gotten them. And I'm so sorry you haven't. But they just, they're just sitting there. And I actually looked up some of them today to see <clears throat> where they were at. I'm trying to see because I'm using my phone as my mirror tonight, guys. And you're probably thinking, when is that different from any other night, Angie? So I was laughing today on the phone with my friend Lisette. Yep, been busy getting my, yeah. Um, I was laughing on the phone with her earlier and I said, I should start calling this Angie TV. Because you guys come and watch me. Do my face. Oh, I keep putting that piece back on. That's, that's all that bamboo charcoal. It's those flecks of bamboo charcoal everywhere. Everywhere. It's all over my counter right now. I mean, my desk. I'm just trying to get it all off my face. It's sticking to me. It's sticking to me. This would have been so much better if I do it at my in the bathroom. But you know what? I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> I'm doing it right here at my desk. So, anyways. Angie TV. I know. I should start calling it. Tune in to Angie TV. It's too funny. Too funny. I crack myself up sometimes. And I think you got to. I think I got it all off now. Let me feel my face to see. Because I can't really see in the phone. So, and plus I'm blind without my glasses on. Everything's blurry. So I'm, I'm going, you know, I'm driving this whole train blind. So I think I'm doing pretty good. All right. All righty, all righty, all righty. Let me put that in the bowl. Oh boy, I do have stuff everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Now, we are going to finish the rest of my facial. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my toner. I should use that hashtag. should add that to my stuff. That's so funny. Um, so we have the British Rose Petal Soft Toner. This is my all-time favorite toner. It's got little bits and pieces of rose in it, and it's gel-like. Look at that. Boink. Probably didn't need that much, but I like to show you guys. Look. Can you see that? Boink. All right, so what does toner do for your face? It gets your skin ready for moisturizing. It also takes any dirt or grime that may be left on your face after cleaning and masking and rinsing that might be there and any impurities. It also sets your skin back to its pH balance. Now there is no alcohol in our toners nope 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 um so it's not drying to the skin in fact it's moisture these are moisturizing to the skin okay all right so how about that see there was some dirt on my face it's mostly mask though sorry about leaning out of screen there the next thing i'm gonna do is our roots of strength um since i did this deep cleaning on my face i want to add some roots of strength to my skin because I want it to be firmer. So it's easy to apply, quickly absorbed. You wanna go in an upward direction, away from gravity. 
I'm gonna go across my chin, up into my ears, and up and away to help with those fine lines and wrinkles, help uh, firm the skin, help with the elasticity of the skin. By taking care of your skin, by drinking plenty of water, by keeping your skin clean, by doing facials like this and massaging your skin helps the muscles not only tone themselves in the face, it also helps the skin um, blood flow to the face. So it's gonna carry, if you think about blood flow, it carries in nutrients, okay? So it carries the nutrients in and then it carries the nutrients out. So you can clean with the camel bottle, then mask, then toner, then serum, then moisturize. Yes, you can. Yes, definitely. Um, you can do that. You could do the, or you could do an aloe cream cleanser and use a um, a um, cotton round to take it off like I did tonight. Do your mask, do your toner, do your serum if you're wanting. But if you're wanting to do something really quick, you could do, if you have makeup, I would suggest the chamomile butter to take off your makeup, then do your toner, then do your moisturizer if you only want a three-step program and you're in a hurry, okay? And th because you're doing that, that's something that can you can take with you when you're traveling. You don't need water with it if you have a cream cleanser. But the chamomile butter, you do need water with, okay? So like your aloe cream cleanser, your vitamin E cream cleanser, your, um, I believe there's a camom, I don't know. I know that there's an aloe cream cleanser. I'm not going to misspeak um, about that. Um, what do you think you're doing? What do you mean you think you're doing? Sometimes I get a bit confused with the steps. I do a double cleansing. So yes, that's how you should be doing it. The chamomile, then the aloe. Yes, you can do that. Or you could just use the chamomile by itself if you don't want to use the aloe. Like you, you can you can skip that double cleanse step if you want to. You don't have to double cleanse your face. It's good to, but you don't have to if you're in a hurry, you know, because you're a mom. You want to make sure that you've got time, you know. Do you rinse it with warm water? Or do you just wipe that off? because you're supposed to rinse it with warm water, the chamomile. And then the aloe, you can just wipe off. Or use water, depending on what you're in. Okay, all right, cool. So now I'm gonna use the, um, the vitamin E um, cream. So I'm adding even more moisture to my face and vitamin E we do not produce in our bodies ourselves, um, just like vitamin C. So we have to get it from our foods, you know, those two from our foods or outside um, steps. We put it, you know, on our face, on our skin and take care of the aloe. I wipe it. Yes, that's what you can do. Or you can rinse it. You don't have to use a combat if you feel like you need to rinse it. I know that it's used both ways. I prefer to use the cotton rounds, especially when I'm sitting here at my desk because it's less water I have to drag in here in a bowls. So the vitamin E, let me see, where am I at? Okay, so the roots of strength is to help your skin's elasticity and firming and anti-aging, okay? I got water everywhere. I squished water everywhere. Um, so the Roots of Strength has soy oil from Brazil. It's also, for its uh, moisturizing properties, it also has community trade alcohol from Brazil, ginseng root extract from China um, for skin's firmness, and then ruscus root extract from Europe thought to retexture and tone the skin. So it's acting as a lifter and a toner. Um, for toning the skin and then if you're massaging it in and going in an upper direction you're you're helping the skin tone by doing that and then ginger root extract from Madagascar known for its replumping properties so it's also filling in those fine lines and wrinkles and then you have the ginger root extract from Madagascar renowned for its um did I just say that I think I did 
Yep, I just said that one. I meant moisture boosting hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is an acid that holds 100 times its weight in water in H2O. So it is very moisturizing. It is a really good product. I love using it. I use it along with the Drops of Youth. Um, I kind of mix match a lot of our products because I use what I feel like my skin needs that day. But I do use a lot of the same products, but I mix them up in the in the order that I do them in a lot of the time. Um, I tend to go for more moisturizing because my skin tends to stay dry. So that's really um, important to me um, for healthy skin. So I was saying earlier, when you're massaging your face and you're doing those circular motions, what happens is, is you are you are, um, oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought. You are stimulating. That's the word I was trying to find. You are stimu you're stimulating not only your, those layers of skin, you're stimulating the muscle tissue and ligaments and all that stuff that are underneath and the fascia that's underneath your skin by doing those light circular motions and you're causing blood flow to come to that area. So what happens is the blood flows to that area, it brings in nutrients and moisture and, and all that stuff that it needs for healthy skin. Then as it's leaving, it's taking out all those impurities and stuff because you massaged. You massaged your face. You, every time you clean your face and you're massaging it, you are giving your, you're helping your skin firm you're helping your muscles tone. You're helping the any type of um, um, oh my goodness sagginess that you might be starting to get by just working with your face, okay, or your skin. Same thing on the rest of your body. If you're massaging and putting on the 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 shea body butter or the other body butter, or um doing the scrubs in the shower or scrubbing your scalp you know doing you know massaging your scalp while you're putting the banana hair mask in or you're putting the banana hair you know banana or ginseng um shampoo and conditioner you are massaging your skin you're massaging muscles you're massaging the the you're just stimulating so much stuff on your skin that is good for it really really good for it I know that I'm like talking round and round in circles right now. I'm so sorry, but I just had to get that information out. <laughs> so now I'm going to end like I normally do. I'm going to put on my coconut lip butter. I love this stuff. I put it on thick at night so it moisturizes my lips. And plus, I feel like I'm on a tropical island when I use this. They're hand-cracked coconuts. I love it. Oh, here, I didn't show you the inside. See? Hand-cracked coconut. It's actually got bits and pieces of coconut actually in it. Um, so it's not completely smooth. But, and it honestly tastes like real coconuts. So you know you're getting the good stuff when it tastes like real coconuts. And it doesn't make you cough. It doesn't make you go, oh, get it off my face. You know? So I love it. It's natural products, community fair traded, everything. And even like our lipsticks, I'm not going to put this on, but this is one of our lipsticks I got in Happy Mail the other day. It was the Canabera Tulip. These lipsticks are so creamy and moisturizing to lips. They don't take the moisture away from the lips. There are a lot of products out on the market and from being an esthetician, I know about a lot of them. There's a lot of those out on the market. When you put stuff on your lips, you'll end up with little tiny blackheads all along your lip line because it fills in your pores along your, your lip line and causes breakouts because it's not moisturizing to the skin. It's just oil on the skin. It's just um, I can, just junk on the skin. But when you have something that's moisturizing, 
it's going to moisturize it's going to nurture it's going to nourish the skin it's not going to take away from it there's a lot of lipsticks out there a lot of lip products out there that literally take moisture away from your skin that's why you end up with really bad chapped lips even though you're putting stuff on it's terrible it's terrible i have used some of them and it is awful so i'm telling you right now i keep hitting that bowl um their lip butters are the bomb.com i love them they are so nice i wear them every single day along with the lip shines that we have we have a variety of colors of those i love those too they don't make me cough again don't have a coughing issue with those the last thing that i usually do at night before i go to bed and throughout the day actually is i use the hemp hard working um hand cream I love this stuff. It's earthy smelling, just like the mask is. But I love, 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 love using this stuff. It is my favorite to use. And I usually will sit and put this on when I'm sitting at the watching TV. And I literally will massage my fingers like this. So I'm going from my ring finger, the, the inside of your finger, I'm grabbing a hold and I'm just doing a slight twisty motion where I'm just kind of going around the fingers and that massages those ligaments, the muscles and everything that are in your fingers because your fingers get tired. You know, we use them a lot with our phones and everything. And because I can't do a lot of massage anymore, I have to massage my hands. I massage my forearms and stuff like that, my elbows and stuff. And I do, to be honest, I love this on the feet too. It works really well. I know we have a foot line, but I like this too. But anyways, guys, I know it's been a long-winded uh, conversation, but I wanted to tell you guys all about these masks. It's Friday, it's Face Mask Friday. So, but like I said earlier, I am gonna be having some gift bags for heart day, Valentine's day for you guys um, to pick up if you decide you want to. If you're local, it will be, um, I can meet up with you and give it to you. Um, but it's gonna be a first come first serve thing. So when I get that all set up, I will get that up on to the internet for you guys on Facebook, for you guys to see those and um, with pricing. So that way you guys can message me and say, I want number, whatever. I'll try to number them or figure out a way to, um, to uh, identify the, which one you want. So I'll get that all figured out. Um, but I hope you guys have a good weekend. I will see you guys tomor tomorrow at 7 o'clock, you know, for Angie TV. You got to come see me. I'm going to start using that hashtag now. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. It's so funny to me. But anyways, guys, hope you have a good weekend. If I don't see you, if not, you can come watch the replay and put hashtag replay down below. I would love that. Anyways, guys, you can share my videos if you want to. Talk to you guys later.